this red lentil dal, it's super nutritious and very comforting and it comes with the quickest to make roti flatbreads. Hola amigos, I'm the Spanish chef Omar Ali Boy and today I'm going to show you how to prepare the take and make red lentil dal with roti. Everything you need to make this beautiful dal is in this box. We're going to start by washing the dal. Give it a good massage. I'm going to wash it a couple of times until the water runs clear and that should be sufficient. And now, tip the lentils into the saucepan with generous amount of water. We're going to add a little bit of the ground turmeric and we're going to simmer it for 15 minutes while we prepare the rest of the ingredients. To slice an onion, you want to create first a base that is safe for you to sit your onion in. So first I'm gonna cut the tip, turn it around and cut the bottom. Just put it on your chopping board, make like a bridge with your hand and then we're gonna cut it in half with our knife and this way it doesn't move anywhere and you start slicing very slowly. Now on a separate frying pan your little sachet of vegetable oil. We're going to add the cumin seeds but they will fry it very gently for about 10 minutes. We want to cook this until the onions are nice and brown so stir them every so often. Just grab one garlic at a time and very slowly just to slice it first and now we're just going to chop it. Always put your hand on over the top to make sure there is no fingers underneath. 15 minutes are gone so I'm going to check the lentils. Let's take a look. You can see they are sort of breaking down and without burning yourself just press them between your fingers. You can see they are like a puree now so I'm just going to switch it off so they are ready for when I need them. After 10 minutes, take a look at the onions. Now it's time to add your chopped garlic. Going to add the ground ginger, the garam masala, which is a beautiful mixture of different spices. And because I don't like spicy food too much, I'm gonna go easy with the chili. So I'm going to be using just half this little pot. And the next ingredient, we all love a little bit of tomato. So stir it in and cook it for a further five minutes until it has sort of reduced a little bit and lost a bit of water. And now we're going to pour it into the boiled lentils. And it's going to be inside this pot where we need to simmer it for 15 minutes while the magic happens. And while the dal finishes cooking, let me show you how to make the quickest, fastest, simplest roti which is a delicious bread. Tip all your flour into the bowl and pour 100 milliliters of water and because I like others do the mistakes I've done the mistake for you. Just cut your sachet before you start mixing the dough otherwise you'll have to wash the scissors as well. And pour it slowly and you see how it comes together. And as soon as you form a ball that it kind of sticks together, now we can go and work in the worktop. All you have to do is knead it for five minutes, that is all. I'm going to cut it in half, more or less. And each half, I'm gonna cut it into three. So that will make about six rotis. All you need to do now is just wrap it in your hand and do a little bowl, a little bit of flour, Push with the palm of your hand first, with a rolling pin. I'm using a non-stick pan, which is really good. And because the dough already has oil, I'm not going to use any. Hold it tight with both hands and just lay it. Take a look how it starts bubbling up and it puffs up. It should take about one to two minutes, depending on the heat and the thickness of your flatbread. Let's check these lentils. And now time for the spinach. Such a versatile ingredient. You can use it in so many recipes. I'm just gonna drain it from the water that it comes. Make a little bit of pressure with your hand just to make sure that all the water drains down. Now I'm just going to add the spinach 
don't burn yourself, just do it very carefully. And we're gonna simmer it for two last minutes. And now I'm gonna finish it off with a little bit of zesty lemon juice. All it's left is to serve a generous spoon of this beautiful red lentil dal. Bit of dried coriander. And let me bring it to my little friends and see what they think of my creation. Mm -hmm.